everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Honda Accord Touring and its 10 speaker 450 watt audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at the infotainment system, take a look at speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demos, listen to some sample tracks, get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out, take a quick look at the car. This is the hybrid touring trim of the Accord. It's an excellent car overall, but I think the hybrid touring is not the one to get. So check the links in the description for our full review as well as our highway fuel economy test if you want to see more on that. Other than that, this is a great car for a lot of different situations and if you buy it right, you can get it for a great price. We always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the audio system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults, so let's take a look at those now. Got a nice touch screen here in the Accord, Honda did a great job bringing themselves back up into the 21st century after dropping the ball in the Civic with the volume slider and all that business. This system works very well. You can see here you have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. Also have bass, treble, mid-range, and subwoofer adjustment. So let's go through those now. On top of those adjustments, you also have this DTS Neural Surround, it's kind of Honda's surround mode, let's toggle that off and on, it's off, on, I go back and forth with Honda's on this, typically I prefer it off, sounds just too artificial with it on, so I'm going to leave it off for now, and I'll turn it on later in the test. You also have speed, volume, compensation, a few different levels for that as you get faster, volume gets louder. So actually, we'll actually hit default right here and that's going to turn, oh, it's going to keep DTS Neural Surround off. Good to know. Speaker locations in the Accord 10 speaker system. Starting down here you've got one, two, three behind the speaker there, four, five. None in the door surprisingly. The back deck you have eight, nine, 10, 11, real small ones back there. Sorry, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 right here, subwoofer. For audio controls, you have this nice big volume knob up here, very easy to turn, feels good. And you also have really satisfying volume up and down on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you have this tune knob, you have the touch screen buttons here, you have a rocker back and forth on the left side of the screen physically, and then also on the steering wheel on the left side, you have back and forth rocker. So plenty of ways to change tracks, fortunately. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demos. Now, this top trim touring model does have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So let's do Android Auto first, because I know I already have that one hooked up. Let's go over to, how's the best way to do this? Home, smartphone connection, Pixel 5. There we go comes right up. So you can see no no cable connected. It's all just going wirelessly and it still works very quick. You can go over to YouTube Music, go through there, back over to Maps. Everything's very responsive. Actually looks quite nice on the screen. I'm happy. Go down to Settings. Very good. Apple CarPlay. Now I have not paired this device, so we'll see how simple it is to get wireless Apple CarPlay up and going. I'm gonna try it without connecting my, without disconnecting my other phone as well. Apple CarPlay, connect new device. So five is using Android Auto. Would you like to disconnect it? Yes. There's hands-free link right away. Paired. Would 
you like to use CarPlay? Yes. Use CarPlay. Wow, very easy process. And this is an iPhone 7, so by no means new technology. And it's still working flawlessly. Look at that, you got maps, library, super easy to use, very impressive. And I'm really happy that Honda made that so easy to do. Let's turn that off and get on the road. I knew there was something I was forgetting back there. Forgot to talk about audio inputs here in the Accord. So you do have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM satellite radio. You have USB-A with Bluetooth and Android Auto as shown earlier. You can also do those wirelessly. You got Bluetooth and that is it. So what are you missing? Well, you don't have a disc player and you also don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and you don't have USB type C. So a few of those not too surprising here in 2021, but Type-C connection would be nice to see. Now this next song can really test the limits of an audio system, and it's really gonna showcase the weaknesses here in the Accord and how hollow and kind of tinny the system sounds. So let's turn it on.
too much coming through in the mid range and it's kind of the mid highs but every time you hear one of those uh, snare drum hits it's coming through really harsh in your ears without providing any sort of oomph or power from the low end. Honda really needs to do a better job at tuning more sound down low. The crispness is okay, the high ends sound decent through these tweeters, but man, it must be something with the fact that there's only five speakers up here and then all the rest are in the rear deck lid. So I'll turn it up a little bit, just listen, it almost sounds like you're listening to the music through a coffee can. frustrating thing is even with adjusting the sound settings, turning the mid-range down, turning the bass and subwoofer up a few clicks, it doesn't really help. I even tried moving the sound back, which often helps with systems like this. Didn't make much of a difference. I'll turn on the DTS neural surround now so you can get an idea of if that makes any difference. Sounds like at 70. Really nicely refined cabin. Sure would be good to fill it up with good audio. It's a mess. For this next song, we'll turn the bass and subwoofer all the way up. Flex that a little bit. big speakers back there and the power from this amplifier to really make this song moving and strong but they don't it just sounds hollow and not classy coming from these front speakers and one of the reasons I'm so hard on Honda is because I love driving Hondas I love the Civic I love the Accord I like the HR uh, CRV they make really good vehicles so it's a shame that I get the ball dropped on the audio systems. I want them to do better, and from the new Acura ELS systems, I know that Honda Acura can do better, so I really hope those systems trickle down. 
In terms of audio quality, one out of 10 in this car, objectively speaking, I'm giving this a four. Yes, even this premium audio system, 10 speakers, it, maybe, okay, maybe it's a five on certain songs. But subjectively speaking, for this class, this sort of vehicle, family sedan, it's a four. The only thing that helps out is how good the infotainment system is, having wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a bunch of good inputs, really easy to use system, that helps bump it up a bit. But man, Honda, I really want you to start doing better. So hope you guys had a good impression here for the Accord audio system. If you own an Accord, you're also frustrated by your audio, let me know in the comments, let me know what you might have done to improve it, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.